Hi guys, welcome to the Agen WooCommerce plugin tutorial video. In this tutorial video, I will explain to you how to configure the Agen plugin and authorize the plugin to start accepting payments via the Agen payment provider. Agen is an international payment provider and supports almost every local payment method. And we have done our definite best to make sure that a lot of payment methods are supported in this WooCommerce plugin. We can call ourselves the official Agen WooCommerce plugin and we definitely collaborate good with Agen, the payment provider itself. That having said, let me introduce myself. My name is Jessica Riesch and I'm the founder and CEO of WUSA. Today, I will tell you everything about how to install, configure, authorize and start accepting payments within your WooCommerce store via Agen. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful and you can start right away with selling via Agen. First step is installing the Agen WooCommerce plugin within your WordPress backend. And there are two ways to do so. First via the FTP server and second via your WordPress backend. I don't want to go in depth about how to install this plugin, but I will link the articles we have written about this below so that you can walk through it when you have the time for it. And what's important to know is that we will provide you a zip file to start using the plugin. So once you have decided to work with the Agen WooCommerce plugin, we will provide you a zip file. You can download it to your computer and that zip file you can upload to your WordPress backend or to your FTP server. Everything is explained in the articles below, so please read them carefully if you don't know how to install a WordPress plugin. Cool, let's go to step two and that's activating the license. There are two reasons why it's necessary to activate the license. One is you will receive automatic updates and we are frequently updating the plugin to make sure that it will be supported by the latest payment methods and the latest technique. So therefore it would be wise to have the license activated. Second, we can see if your license is actually active. Uh, and based on that, we can support you with questions via phone, email, and live chat. So let me show you how to activate your license key. First go to WooCommerce. Then go to settings and above you will see a tab which is called Agen. Let's click on it. And there you will see a mini tab, I call it, which is called license. And within that mini tab, you can add your license to make sure that it's activated. So this license will be provided by us, WUSA in order for you to receive automatic updates and unlimited support. Um, in this case, it's active. It can happen that you have multiple licenses for multiple domains. In that case, you can also see how many activations you have left. Before I forget, we are really listening to our customers. So if you have any feedback with regards to the Agen WooCommerce plugin, please share your opinion with us. And you can do so via roadmap.wusa.com. There you can add feature requests, improvements, tweaks, whatever you like, and other people can also vote on it. Based on the amount of votes, we will upgrade the plugin with your wishes and your needs. <laughs> Next step, we have activated the license and now we really want to connect the plugin with the Agen platform to start accepting online payments. To do so, you can stay on this uh, screen. Uh, however, click on the mini tab authorization. And there you have two options. You can either activate your live production account if you're already ready for that, or you can start with the test account. You can see which one you need based on the URL you have access to from Agen. So in this case, we only have an, uh, a test account and you can see in the URL, we also are logged in into that particular test account. If this says live, then you're logged in into your live account. So keep that in mind, uh, which uh, Agen account you're trying to connect. So when we go back to the authorization tab, um, we of course want to authorize our test account. 
we only need a test merchant account and an API key. So let me show you in a gen where to find those. Let's start with the merchant account. If you click left above over here, below you can see um, the merchant's account. So let me go back to the company because now unfortunately I already had selected the merchant account. So uh, click again and there you can see this is your merchant account. And as you can see the merchant account has a unique number behind your normal username. So let's click on that. And basically we now also know what the merchant account name is. So we see often that people think in our case Wooza BV is the actual merchant account name, but it is not. It's our parent account we have at Agen. Within your parent account, you can have multiple merchants, basically based on, for example, country or based on a domain. In this case, you actually need the merchant name. So that's the name with the number behind it. In our case, Wusa BV 91615. Let's check Wusa BV 91615. So that's correct. The second step is making sure we have an API key. And we can find that API key. Let me switch that over here. Uh, below developers and API credentials. And of course, we have already created an API key. Um, but we can also create a new credential. Let's do so. So to explain how you should create that API key. So click create new credential, make sure uh, the user type web service is selected. That's really important. Um, make sure that the accounts are also selected. So in this case, I want to have this API credential activated for my merchant account. So therefore I need to activate my merchant account also. And as you can see, there's no API key generated yet. So what we should do is click save. And there it says web servers user details saved successfully. Now the next thing you can do is click generate new API key. And this is what we need, right? We need an API key. So as you can see, after clicking that button, the API key is generated. I need to copy it and then click save generated API key. Make sure you copy it before you save it because once you have saved it, you can get it back. You need to generate a new API key. So therefore copy the API key before you click save. Then we'll go back to WordPress and we will paste the API key over here and click the button save and authorize. And now something should happen, which luckily happens. Uh, the status will change to authorized. So now you know everything is correct. My WooCommerce plugin is now connected to my Agen Merchant account. And now I can start or, or go forward with configuring the plugin and the payment methods. But we're not ready yet. What we also want to do is to activate the webhooks, which we call notifications within the WordPress settings, as you can see over here. Let me explain a bit what webhooks actually do. So imagine that you have a visitor on your website and he purchases a product, pays with credit card, for example, but we then not know yet um, if the payment is actually Paid. So the webhook should be configured to make sure that uh, Agen will give a response back to WooCommerce that the actual order is paid, the payment went successfully, and you can ship the order. So that's a very important step and make sure you do so before start accepting payments. Um, as you can see, we have an explanation over here how to activate the webhooks. So what you need is a username and a password. We already have done this. Um, but I will explain you within the Agen test account where to actually provide those. So go to your Agen account, click again developers and click webhooks. No webhook is configured on merchant level at this moment. So let's start with configuring a webhook. And as you can see, we have multiple types of webhooks. 
we need the standard notification you can see over here in the step so let's click that one Next, we need a URL, and this URL is provided by the plugin itself. So if we go back to the plugin, you can see over here, URL is this one. We want to retrieve the payment status on this URL. Next, the method should be HTTP. And let's go to method because it's by default on JSON. Let's go to HTTP. And of course, activate the actual webhook. Next, you can say username and password and then you can say test configuration well everything seems to be okay accepted everything is green and then you can say save this means I've created a password and a username for webhooks I need to fill in those over here in the WooCommerce plugin also. This is necessary in order for us to actually receive those webhooks and make sure payments are having the, the actual payment status. Once you have done this, you can't really check if it's okay. Most of the time it just works. If not, you will notice very soon once someone orders something and does a payment, which is not immediately uh, sync back to WooCommerce. Cool. So next we also have a mini tab which is called settings. I'm going through it very quick because the important part of this one is the capture mode. So most of our merchants who use a gen want to have a capture mode which is set to immediate. However, the setting in WordPress WooCommerce is not connected to the setting in a gen. So we should set the capture mode on immediate, in, on immediate in both WordPress as in a gen. Um, capture mode means basically a, K, a payment which is done should be captured, uh, which means it's settled and you can ship the actual order. Well, of course, everything is automated daily uh, with online shops. So therefore all our merchants most of the time have it on immediate. So set it to immediate over here and go to a gen. Click account, click account settings and scroll down to capture delay. And as you can see over here, it's set to immediate also. So basically if both a gen and WordPress are on immediate, then the capture mode should work perfectly. Also good to know, we have um, different kind kinds of payment methods and payment structures within the Agen WooCommerce plugin. We support uh, both simple payments, like just one payment for one order. We support also subscriptions. So if you um, have subscriptions and you want to use Klarna Recurring as a payment method, you should also enable this one because Klarna is by default not captured immediate, even though the settings it is set on immediate, uh, both in a gen and both in WordPress. However, a gen should activate something manual within your merchant account to make sure this also works properly for uh, Klarna. So therefore, if you want to have Klarna automatically and immediate captured, please enable this checkbox. <laughs> Last but not least, we have everything now configured and authorized perfectly, so this means we can start accepting payments. Therefore, there's only one thing left to do, and that's decide which payment methods you want to have activated in your webshop. Therefore, you can go to Payments. And as you can see, you will see all the Agen available payment methods within the list. And you can see also which one are activated and which not. In our case, of course, everything is activated because we use this webshop for testing purposes. Um, if you want to change, for example, the name, you can change it by clicking manage. And you can, for example, delete the agent part in front of the title. Um, you can even add a subscription if you, if you like. Also, we will show you um, in which country this payment method is supported. 
so that's maybe also fine and what's good to know in the front end of the checkout we will disable uh, particular payment methods which are not supported in particular countries so it will think about hey do i accept ideal in germany for example well we can see that it's not the case it's a basic dutch payment method so if we change the country to german in the checkout you will see a gen ideal will disappear as a payment method so that's nice um with that having said this is related to backend so you can decide which payment methods you want to activate or not and you can also sort them a bit so let's say you want to have credit card on the first position in your checkout you can just drag it above and then it will show will be shown as the first payment method within your WooCommerce checkout. Let's try the front end now because I think that's the most important part for you guys to see what happens. As you can see, I already have an item within my uh, cart. So when clicking checkout, you will see the list of the the possible payment methods within uh, the country of Spain. Let's go to Netherlands, for example. You will see Ideal is added now as a payment method and also Klarna is added now. Um, let's go to Germany, for example. Germany. And there you will see that Ideal disappeared again and Giropay, so forth, and Klarna are added also. So basically you can, yeah, you, you don't have to do anything because we already thought about the best solution for you based on the country. What's also nice for you to know is for credit card, you can uh, add your card as a visitor. Uh, but if you, um, if you perhaps um, uh, shop multiple times within this store, then you can also decide to save your credit card for later use. So then the credit card will be actually added to your WooCommerce account and you can just click it in the future if you want to purchase something again. So that's also a really nice feature. Everything is loaded, uh, like the credit card form is loaded via an iframe, which means nothing will happen actually on your server. Everything happens on the Agen server, which means you also shouldn't be compliant or anything because you're not saving the actual payment data. Agen is saving the payment data and this is just a friendly user experience tool to make sure they don't have a lot of steps uh, during a payment. We want to have less steps as possible. With that having said, I think we're at the end of this tutorial. I hope this is very helpful for you um, and you are... Well, I think we're finished this tutorial. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for listening. Hopefully this tutorial was very helpful and it helped you to set up your entire agent payment method provider within your WooCommerce store. If you have any questions left, please call us via phone, send us an email or open a live chat. We will put the links below this tutorial video where you can find our contact details. Um, do you miss any features, uh, payment methods, whatever? Please consult our roadmap, roadmap.busa.com. Also, we'll put the link down the video below. Um, and yes, good luck. Hopefully you will realize a lot of sales and revenue and we're ready to help you if you have any questions. Have a nice day.